Hey everyone, Marissa with discoverintuition.com here to do a snow globe meditation. Um, I thought we would do something that would probably be helpful for a lot of people, especially if you live with family hey everyone, or Marissa around with family or have family over here a lot. To do a um, snow my experience over the last couple months, my mom being in town. I love my mom to death, but we've been through a lot. We've been through a lot. Um, She's just thinking about it. I want to cry. Um, my mom was like my biggest supporter going through all of my like drug addiction stuff. Um, everything that I put my family through. Um, and my dad, him and I, we work together and it's kind of like we don't think about the past. We don't talk about the past. It's kind of like the past is done. It's over. It's gone. Um, but then you get around people who, you know, you haven't seen in a long time or you don't see them all the time and it's like, it triggers old memories. So like I teach, you know, we're like these, basically we we're like these buildings right here and right next to us, we have a storage unit. So this is the third dimension and the fourth dimension in our storage unit. We store every fight we've had with a boyfriend or girlfriend, every memory we've had with our family. Um, we, we have this like storage unit, which is our subconscious mind. Depending on where we are emotionally in this building, like what floor we're on, we're going to start accessing those memories from the storage unit. So let's say that, you know, I haven't thought about, um, I don't think about something, but then I see my mom. What's going to happen is we're going to end up going to a floor that we kind of share. So say she's in a bad mood, I'm in a good mood. We're going to meet kind of in the middle. And then wherever we're at, whatever floor we're on, we're going to start accessing um memories and things like that because they're they're called cords memories from past people places and things that we've been through together and then all the emotions will start coming back from what we went through what we did all of these things and it's frustrating it's frustrating like i tell um my students you know no matter how much you evolve and grow your family kind of always sees you as who you are so you can't let it get to you but i've been letting it get to me and she's evolved, she's grown, she's changed, but then, you know, I just see her the way she was as, you know, kind of the one that was always there for us, helping us and, and all this through all of my crazy drug days and everything that are long gone. But, you know, so anyways, I don't, everyone has their past, everyone has their stuff that they've been through, whether it's with a husband or a wife or your kids or your, your parents. Um, you know, you could be on this amazing spiritual journey and, and be a completely new person. And, you know, I have this friend, she says, you know, I, I, I never see my parents and then I go back to the East coast and it's like, I turn into that, you know, mute little girl that can't talk, can't speak her mind. I feel like I have a lump in my throat the whole time. I can't stand up to my dad. I can't, I watch my mom just, you know, not say a thing to my dad while he like steamrolls her when I have a fully functioning marriage here. I, I have friends um, where I speak my mind, I speak my truth. She goes on Facebook Live. She, she's like an amazing coach. But, you know, you get around those old people and you turn into that old person. So I wanted to ask the guides to help us today with a snow globe exercise on how to release, um, you know, the stuff in the storage unit that causes us to revert back to, you know, that old person that people need to take care of about or people need to say oh you know like I'm you know talking to my mom this morning and and um telling her something and and she's talking back at me like I'm arguing with her and I said I'm not arguing with you right now I'm agreeing with you and she went oh okay so it's like you know what do people just assume that you're arguing with them when you're not arguing or just assume that you're doing something when you're not doing something and a lot of the times it's because we spent so much of our lifetime being that way around these people. So we project what we expect from people. Oh, that's kind of cool. I rhymed. Anyways, um, we project what we expect. So, you know, the, the thing that, that sucks about it is like, say you had like a boyfriend or girlfriend that every time that they would go out, they would cheat on you um, every Friday night or something like that. You're going to get into a new relationship and every Friday night you're going to be like all like tense and you're going to project on that person like where were you where have you been it's Friday night why why aren't you home from work yet uh, what, what are you doing and that new person's gonna be like what's wrong with this person and it's because 
you are projecting onto them your reality. You're projecting onto them what your reality was. So I wanted to do this snuggle back exercise. I already called in the guides, but I just kind of want to set an intention that anyone doing this exercise is at a high enough plane that's beyond duality, beyond good and bad, right and wrong, dark and light, and just kind of raise everybody up to a frequency that's higher than that, whether you're doing the video live or, um, you know, uh, on a replay. I want to create a safe space for everybody to kind of release your junk, release your garbage, and that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to vacuum this stuff out and just dump it in the dumpster, you know, so you can set your intention. Say you're having issues with a relationship where you're always nervous that the person's going to leave or the person's going to gonna be a certain way um, and whatever, you can set the intention that you want to clear out that stuff. Um, or say, you know, you and your mom or you and your dad can't get along because, you know, they always think that you're doing this or doing that or maybe you and your children can't get along because you always assume that they think that you're not a good parent or whatever it is that that you tell yourself whatever the story is um so anyways what you're going to do is just kind of close your eyes and we're going to go directly into the exercise <sighs> so close your eyes my story let's see my story is you know what? i don't know what story so i'm just going to leave it up to god and my higher self to dissolve the right story. I think that's what I'm going to do um, because I have too many stories um, just of me all drugged out or, or just being mean and rude and completely disrespectful to my parents and um, you know so I'm just going to let my higher self give me the story that I need to dissolve um, today for me and um, yeah let's do that. So you can just say okay I, give me whatever story I need. Um, or you can say, I want to get along better with my girlfriend, or I want to get along better with um, my parents. Give me a story that will help me with that. Okay? So close your eyes. And breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth, I want you to just say, I'm a snow globe, or I am now a snow globe. And I want you to imagine that you're in the center of the snow globe. Your physical body is the statue. There's water swirling around you, and the snowflakes that are swirling around you are your emotions, other people's emotions, they're your memories, other people's memories, your thoughts, your experiences, from your entire life. And this stuff is just swirling around you. Our brain's job really all day long is to just read the snowflakes that pass by. Say person, place, or thing that matches this. Person, place, or thing that matches this. What is this match? What is this match? And flash images in your head, memories. And as soon as those memories and those images flash in your head, you immediately emote something. You immediately feel something. If I was to say beach right now, you just imagined a beach and you felt anything from, oh man, I want to be at the beach, to, oh, I miss the beach. I don't live by the beach anymore, to, oh, my boss is so rude. He won't let me go to the beach. Or, ah, oh, the beach. So, as you can see, thoughts work so quickly, and we have like 10,000 of them a minute or something crazy like that. Don't quote me on that, because I'm just guessing. But it's a very large amount of thoughts per minute. So just kind of imagine what your statue feels like, what it looks like, what do your snowflakes feel like, what do they look like, are they big snowflakes, are they little, what color are they, what do they feel like, and how far out is your snow globe? Is it like really far out? Is it like close? Where Where is your snow globe in relation to where your body is right now? And then I want you to just bring your awareness basically into your heart. So a lot of times I'll stick my hand on my heart and I'll actually imagine that my I'm between my hand and like my skin right here. You can say zero to zero you in basically into the, what's called the zero point in physics. They call it the zero point. So it's the center of you, center of creation. So you can say zero and you're just going to feel like you're getting drawn kind of into the center of your body, into the center of your heart, where there, like, there's this big bubble of space. And this is a bubble of space in your heart where it's beyond human emotions. It's beyond getting defensive. Like, how dare you think I'm this way? I've done this and I've done that. And how dare you not see it? 
and at the same time I'm not willing to see you <laughs> you know so it's it gets rid of the the human stuff so um, get into your heart space so you can say take me to my heart space and then I want you to just allow that area to expand you can imagine that it's a room or something or you can imagine that it's a bubble and you're inside that bubble and then what I want you to do is to imagine that there's either a tube going out of your heart up to a bubble above you or a tube going down whichever one feels better they're the same thing but whichever one feels better for you right now a tube going down through all the way down through out your tailbone down into the earth down into the center of the earth where there's a bright shiny ball of energy this is source energy it's not God it's not doesn't judge you it's just electricity literally we are we are electricity we are energy so you're plugging back in so plug into source energy in the center of the earth or above you and once that tube plugs in just kind of like you're siphoning gas imagine all this electricity shooting up through the tube all the way up into this heart space center and just allow it to start filling up your heart space until it begins to expand bigger and bigger and bigger. You can use your breath like breathing in so it's expanding and then breathing out anything that's blocking you. Breathing in, breathing out anything that's blocking you, any anger, or frustration, irritation that belongs to you or other people. And as this bubble expands, it's going to dissolve any anger, any frustration, any entity, spirits, any of that garbage that, that gets in our field that causes us to have anxiety attacks or temper tantrums or, or just, you know, cause us to shut down because we feel all this stuff around us and it doesn't feel good. Just allow your bubble to expand. And I'm going to go ahead and send in healing from everybody's everyone's higher self, their I am presence. There we go. It's commanded that each individual doing this exercise right now in the future as well be instilled with the highest level of light directly from their creator self, their spirit, their soul. Now, there we go. So you may actually feel like energy coming down through your head and just expanding you out real big. There we go. So once you feel nice and expanded and you feel like your bubble has grown out, you know, imagine a little kid blowing a bubble or the soap bubbles, how they get bigger. Just imagine this heart space bubble right here just going nice and big. And the reason why you go there is so that you don't get all judgmental on yourself while you're doing this exercise. Because that's what we do. At least that's what I do. I start analyzing and picking it apart and telling myself I'm stupid and lame and all that. So to avoid that, get into the heart. And now what I'd like you to do is just say, calling forward my most distorted story that I've, you've probably told it a zillion times, like a zillion, to the point where it's just old. It's old. Call forward your most distorted story that will help you with whatever your intention is or I'm just calling forward I'm asking that my most distorted destructive story come forward now and then I want you to imagine that you have a book in your hand okay remember you're just using your imagination you don't need to be clairvoyant or be able to see anything just imagine a book in your hand okay and it's sitting right in front of you mine that says drug addict and I see me like just doing all the stuff I did and it's just gross. Keep in mind this is 15 years ago, 20 years ago, and it's like still affecting me. So once you have your book in your hands, remember, just imagine that there's a book. If you have to imagine that it's a book that you already have, like you don't need to know what the story is. It's just a book. And this is pulling from your subconscious mind, from your storage unit. Now in your mind, I want you to say, heal my story and everything underneath it. You're going to feel like a laser beam of like 
violet colored light coming down is the violet laser beam. And just imagine this violet laser beam literally like, like dissolving this book. It's just disappearing. And I'm going to hold space for everyone to dissolve this book. My book's like, I don't want to dissolve. <laughs> you need me. Now, if your book is not dissolving like mine, I'm going to ask, or you can ask for this in the future, but I'll go ahead and facilitate this, that all virtues, all lessons, all pacts, oaths, and agreements that our soul has made, that has brought this story into our existence, be dissolved right now, revoked in the highest and best way in accordance with our higher self and our soul's purpose and mission in life. And basically just call in all the lessons that you would have learned by allowing this book to stay there. Now my book's going away. Because everything that you create is there so you can learn. And people say, oh, look what God's done in my life. No, we're in control of our life. And yes, there's a God and I believe in God, but I believe that we're also the makers of our own destiny in our life. And if there's something in our field, it's because our soul thinks that it has something to learn. But in the snow globe and in a quantum healing reality, you can just say, well, just download all the lessons that I was going to learn so that that book doesn't have to be there anymore. So downloading all the lessons that I would have learned and that my soul wanted to learn by keeping this book or this story in my reality. And you can imagine energy coming into you if you want little lessons or something like that, but you don't have to. And now my book is dissolving. So just sit for a moment while that dissolves. If it dissolves really quick and you want to say, okay, calling forward another destructive story, another story that I've told over and over and over that keeps me stuck, that keeps me not making money, that keeps me fighting with my family, that keeps me in horrible relationships, that keeps me whatever, calling forward another destructive story. Or distorted. It doesn't even have to be destructive, just calling forward another story. There we go. Kind of watching everyone's energy. And if you don't watch it fully dissolve, you're going to want to sit and watch it fully dissolve. That's once it's fully dissolved in your mind. What you've done is you've destroyed the subconscious um, patterns. You've, you've dissolved them, you've transmuted them. And since you're using the violet laser beam, you're in essence turning them into white light, you're transmuting it, and then God is sending you something better, something that's that can replace this. Instead of just pulling it and leaving it there, you're actually bringing into your reality what you needed and why it was there. You're dissolving it and you're transmuting it into light rather than just going like, oh, well, that story's stupid. I'm gonna take that out of here. So now it won't come back. If you just pull it, it'll just come back or something equivalent to it will that will help you to learn the lessons you need to learn. Hmm. So my book is dissolved now. And then you're going to take your hands in prayer position right here. And I want you to imagine that you're back in your heart again. Okay. And silently in your mind, You can set your intention for this relationship or you can set your intention for you or just kind of like say, okay, now that this story is dissolved, God, I pray that, um, you know, me and this person or um, me and my parents or me and my kids or my, me and any future girlfriends or boyfriends, that we live a life free from arguments, full of joy, full of peace. I'm going to set the intention or if you're dissolving a story that's keeping you broke, you know, I, I grew up in a broke family. So you've taken on your parents story about how money is. Um, I set the intention now that I always have more money than I ever need and enjoy what I do while making it or something like that. And 
And then what you're going to do is you're just going to say shield and you'll call in a shield of energy that's going to kind of come down over your snow globe. It'll be like a nice little shield and I call it in right below the glass of my snow globe so it kind of shields the inside of my snow globe with like beautiful golden like liquid energy. And as it's shielding you just imagine kind of like you're in an elevator just going like doot doot going up like two floors. And you don't have to do this ending part. I just like to because what I'm doing is I'm raising my vibration above all the muck. So, you know, you may be at home and your spouse is out, you know, in the garage or, you know, your, your girlfriend's texting you, hey, where are you? Why aren't you answering? It's like, hey, I'm doing a meditation. As soon as you connect back with them, you want to make sure that you're at a higher frequency than them so that you're not entering in kind of in the smog and just getting like re-slimed again. And remember, other people's slime, you can't be slimed unless you have slime yourself. <laughs> so like attracts like. It's not going to stick unless you have that yourself too. So always remember that we're all responsible for our own energy, but it's just as easy as that. Just clearing our snow globe, connecting with either the earth or source, like replugging back in, calling in all that life force energy, and then setting the intention of what you want, calling forward that story, dissolving it. And as a clairvoyant, I can see you may be dissolving a storybook, but what's really happening is tens of thousands of cords and memories and fights and arguments, all of these things stored. Like think of a computer, you just dumped like so many files into the recycle bin and like hard erased the um the the recycle bin so you can't your process or your brain can't go oh remember that one time this or remember that one time that it just won't come forward it just won't come and you won't think of it just like i say beach you think beach it's the same thing with your subconscious mind it thinks oh remember that one time that you left this person waiting and you didn't pay him back the money you deserved they they deserved and it's like boom you're feeling like crap and now you're both feeling like crap and now you're pulling. This is still working because my phone keeps ringing. Um, but anyways, I hope that helped you guys. Yay, Deborah, you liked it? I always like when I get the seal of approval from Deborah because she is amazing and works with the subconscious mind. So if you think it worked, I'm very happy about that. Jeez, it looks like I have so much makeup on. It's so funny. I don't. Um, anyways, so yay, Catherine, if you guys have any sort of like testimonials or anything like that, that you want to write on here, anything that you felt, um, cause I want to start getting kind of like feedback from people. I do the videos and I don't really know if it's working for people or not, but if it is, please just write your little, um, your little comments here or something. I'm going to try and do a snow globe exercise each day. And obviously just as we all are as healers, I'll end up doing, you know, what, what's resonating with me at the time or if I don't have any drama in my life, which is never, um, I will ask for suggestions and stuff. But anyways, um, you can use this for anything, guys. Just what is your story? What is your story? I mean, I know this one lady with um, basically, oh, good job, Tara. Yay. The um, I know this one lady who used to work with us and she falsely got accused, of, or not accused, falsely diagnosed with cancer. And it was like nine years before and she had to get the mastectomy and then get, you know, basically get, um, you know, implants and stuff like that. And I understand that it's, it's traumatizing, but I mean, seven years later and still telling the story the second she would meet anyone, she needs to dissolve that story, you know, because it's like literally everybody always felt sorry for her. She got attention for it. She got... You know, it was like she was the victim. It was like, it was just, it was just like, really? I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if she's still telling the story. Um, so like, what's your story? What is, what is your thing? You know, mine's, I'm a drug addict and I healed, healed that. And now I want to help other people. But do I really need to be that still? Do I really need to be all the qualities that came with being that? Do I need to be the argumentative, ego driven, annoying, you know, disrespectful person that didn't care about anybody except for myself. No, I don't have to be. And I'm not that. But when you get around people that knew you as that, you start resonating at a frequency that goes, well, screw it. If they're just going to think I'm that way, then I'm going to be that way. So 
anyway, hopefully this helped you guys. Hopefully it helped to look into yourself. And if you ever start beating yourself up, if you ever start going like, oh God, I'm so stupid. I can't believe that that was my story. I can't believe I was telling that story over and over, you know, like, oh, my husband cheated on me and, and he left with a woman and, you know, I, I, this and poor me and blah, 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 whatever. We do everything for attention. We do everything so that we are loved and we just go about it really funky, funny ways. But if you're ever getting down on yourself, Try doing that zero thing where you go into your heart, say zero, and then literally take a step back in your mind and you'll end up in your I am presence, like your your soul. And your soul is the one that chose all of the stories, all of the stuff that we are going to experience in this lifetime and ask, what have I been getting out of this? You know, even people that have cancer, you know, like my mom, it's like she got rheumatoid arthritis and you know, it's what, what was her benefit? What was she getting out of it? She won't ask for help. She finally had to learn how to ask for help. She had to let people help her. So it's, um, you know, what's, let's see, I can't think of anything off the top of my head right now, but there's so much. It's like, just ask yourself, what am I getting out of this? What am I, what am I getting out of this? And sometimes, you know, codependent behaviors is, you know, if somebody's acting a certain way, they're not growing up, they're still acting like a 17 year old kid and they're like 27 or something. And mom's just like, oh, that's just the way she is. Or that's just the way he is. What are we getting out of it? Mom's feeling needed. Mom, mom needs to be needed. So kid, 27 year old is acting like they are a kid still. So mom feels needed. So we get into these like roles with each other and we kind of like scratch each other's back in that way where it's like, oh, I'll help you feel needed. I'll act like a little idiot, <laughs> you know, so just kind of look to see where your stories are. And now you have a really awesome tool to dissolve them. Okay. So I hope you guys have an amazing day. Check out the website. We have, um, um, www.discoverintuition.com. I have a lot of meditations on there. They're like a dollar or two. Um, a couple of free ones in the store and on the front page, www.discoverintuition.com. And, um, and the, uh, hey, Isabel. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. We've got mysnowglobe.us. There's a snow globe challenge on there, uh, to get a, a free reading from one of the girls that, <clears throat> have taken my classes and have now have practices and want to start their practices. Uh, they're offering to do a free 20 minute uh, intuitive reading for anyone that completes the snow globe challenge. And that's my snow us. And then I've got, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, um, yeah, but you can rewatch re it, Isabel. <laughs> so, um, okay guys, I have an amazing day. Go destroy all your, not, not destroy. Um, dissolve your stories into love. And um, I hope that all of your relationships and your life are full of joy. That's so cliche. Okay. Love you guys. Bye.